you can simply understand what user roles or use uh, use cases we have in the overall flow of the data from manufacturer to e-commerce system you have see here purchasing unit is there so these people are related to the purchasing unit and we have product management and we have marketing team and we have call center team and we have e-commerce system so uh, this is not exactly uh, or, or the user role specific to the PIM but in the overall flow of the data you will be having this kind of use um, user roles which they need to perform and provide the data according to the uh, role they have see first the data will go to the supplier and from supplier uh, in th in this use case there we have the involvement of three people supplier is there purchaser is there and data specialist is there first the data will be received by supplier and when 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 it starts purchasing then the supplier sends the product data and uh, it goes uh, the data specialist will check uh, whether whatever the data have rec um, uh, received from the supplier is appropriate or not then we will import the same data into the um, PIM and it will do some conversion of uh, according to the supplier's uh, specific content and the data specialist job is to provide the exact data to the PIM what supplier have given to them then then we'll, in, once we receive the data from uh, sub, suppliers into PIM, we will put the uh, same product data into the supplier catalogs and once, once we feel that uh, all the data is appropriate, then we will uh, merge the data to the central master catalog. But uh, see here, they have in the fourth step itself it is like merging supplier data with central master catalog but 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 ex uh, in ex in pim what we will do once we receive the data from supplier uh, in supplier catalog we will try to do the enrichment of the data uh, and then only we'll merge it to the master catalog once the data is merged to master catalog it will be directly exported to the e-commerce systems so uh, if if we skip the four step here then we can see like classification and attribute management is uh, uh, we are doing here see attribute management uh, is for example uh, let me take you to the online site uh, what attribute management uh, how we are doing here let's say flipkart is there. See, for example, if you are considering this product data, we are having this product in um, a different formats. Uh, so the, you can treat these things as a variance. Like we uh, we have uh, same product in two variants. One is in black and one is in uh, white color. And we have a storage capacity of six, six, 16 GB and 32 GB. So this um, this is the variance. I mean, in how many ways you are getting the same product? Uh, we are getting the same product here in two things one is in 16 GB variant and the other one is 32 GB variant. and if you go to the general features uh, so you have uh, a specific features of the product like image flash HD recording all these things so this is uh, this is what the attribute um, item attribute section where we will be having a, a specific set of attributes for an item. So how we will manage the attributes in the PIM? We will be having a hierarchy in the PIM uh, where we, we will design a structure. For example, let's say we have a, a hierarchy in the e-commerce system uh, like electronics. See, electronics uh, is a, we can treat this as a, um, a root, I mean parent group. And in the parent, we'll be having a mobile section. Uh, this is the second level. And in the mobiles, we are having different mobiles like Samsung, Lenovo, Motorola, like this. So in PIM, we will uh, try to 
uh, categorize this in a form of a structure and we will uh, create a groups like electronics, mobiles and under the mobiles in the third level of the hierarchy we will try to create this Samsung, Lenovo, Motorola and Apple. So uh, and we will uh, try to give a specific features to that. For example, uh, if you are considering this product and we uh, this product uh, same Apple, Apple phone uh, we will be having a features like uh, not on not the, if you consider the extra features like it have HD recording HD full HD and 8 MP 1.2 uh, rear camera 8 MP and front camera one same uh, if you uh, same product uh, will be there but uh, with little bit more costly and the rear camera will maybe it it goes to 12 MP and front camera may goes to 5 MP so um, First what we will do, we will create a hierarchy in the PIM and then we will create a features to that hierarchy and we will assign the features to that group and we will assign the, uh, um, we, uh, we will try to import the product into the PIM and then we will assign that product to the structure group. So that what will happen, what are all the features we are assigned to a particular Apple mobile, Apple phone or a Lenovo phone will be transform it to uh, the the same product like uh, for example uh, the product name the product number is like apple one two three is there so whenever we assign this apple one two three to that particular apple group what are all the general features applied to the apple group will come to this particular apple one two three product then in the item attribute section we can try to select uh, for example um, uh, like uh, the, the same product in the drop down you will be able to see 16 GB, 32 GB and 8 GB or uh, 64 GB uh, draw, uh, LOV list of values. Then we will try to select uh, according to that product. If, uh, for example, if this Apple iPhone um, 1, 2, 3 is there and we, we, are, we want to sell it in 16 GB then we will try to select the LOA as 16 GB and then we will also we can also create another item attribute and we can uh, put the RAM as 64 GB uh, I mean like that so in that way what we are doing we are trying to uh, try to manage the attribute uh, section like providing a different item attributes for the same item and uh, we are giving a provision to the user to select different kind of uh, variants based on the um, item. So this is what uh, attribute management we are doing in the PIM. But uh, whenever I, I try to show you the exa uh, exact structure groups and hierarchies, how to create them, then I'll explain you very clearly how we can have a structure group and how exactly we will compare this to the real-time scenario. So uh, th this is one of the attribute management what we are doing do and uh, text management and localization of product data. Localization of product data is like, uh, uh, for example, uh, if I, uh, we have designed the PIM system for US based uh, organization. So same organization, they have uh, marketing in UK, they have marketing market in China and uh, Germany. So, uh, so same organization is having their own markets in different countries. So whenever we try to develop the uh, PIM solution for one specific region, then same thing will be applicable for other regions also. So there what we have to do, we have to localize the data based on the regions we are trying to uh, sell the products. So such kind of localization will also be done within the PIM itself. And then moving to extended content. So extended content means uh, uh, it is like images or text. So this external service provider uh, will try to give the images or um, any external data that the products are having. And then we'll again we'll get the additional supplier data. If any uh, addition, not only the supplier uh, providing the product information, if we have any manufacturer or manufacturer number or any supplier, uh, alternative suppliers we have, their names uh, or their IDs, everything, extern any additional supplier related data will also be received from the marketing specialist. Then we will go to the sales manager. Here we will be seeing 
up, upper cross selling information upper cross selling means um, for example if if an item uh, in in item we will be having a references to the uh, to the item so uh, if you see sometimes like uh, uh, along with the same product you will be able to see the combos so this is known as upselling or, or cross selling uh, see along with the along with the I, uh, iphone they are also trying to uh, sell you the cover cover of the iphone so this is actually treated as upselling or cross selling things along with the uh, single product they will try to bind the product with some combo offer and they will also try to uh, sell it to you in the market so so whenever this uh, this we were seeing this product in the e-commerce system at the same time you are also seeing the additional uh, another product item here so how it is happening means we will create a reference between this product and this product these two products are imported uh, individually into the PIM and then we will try to create a reference between these two products and then we will export the data so whenever you see in the e-commerce what are all the references this particular item is having you can see in the form of combos